everything he's saying is happening and has happened and it, it, it's just mind-blowing hi guys welcome back to our channel hello hello i hope everyone's doing good we are back today with another reaction today we're going to be checking out paul harvey if i were a devil i really don't know why that statement is <laughs> there but i really want to check this out so let's roll let's go i don't know paul harvey even the name i don't know either warning from warning. 1965 if i were the devil if I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. Okay. I don't know anything about Paul Harvey. Okay. Apparently, he was a TV host, um, a radio host. And something must have prompted him to say this. Well, to me, it already sounds like this message, what he's saying here, which I guess is 1965, already resonates very well what's happening today with all the madness we have, whispering that the God doesn't exist, man created God, destroying family, you know, all, all that stuff. Like, this is what I would do if I were a devil. So I think maybe the video is making its rounds because it looks like it from the beginning to me that the message relates very well to what's happening today in 2023 you know in the last couple of years i would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square and the old i would teach to pray after me our father which art in washington what? and then i'd get organized i'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves. Oh my God. He's, <laughs> listening to him, he feels like he's, he, like he saw the future already yeah that's what i'm saying just from the first thing i already thought it's got to, like, maybe that's why the video is kind of popular at the moment is because of the fact that you know what he said back then it just really hits in what's happening today putting families at war with themselves churches nations people you know war with themselves all that stuff it's kind of like a you know person outside that's trying to put other people at war with each other it's like he he, he was reading the devil's mind because everything he said, if I were the devil, I would do this, I would do this, I would do this. And it's exactly what the devil has actually brought forth. And that's what is manifesting everywhere. It's like word for word. I've seen everything he's written here, like happened before and happening now. And it's really crazy. And this was like 1965, recorded in 1965. You know, even though some of these things might have been happening then, but not like a whole lot. But now it's so much everywhere. It's so everywhere. Like he, he felt like he was not just like a radio host. Maybe he was like a, a prophet or something. Sometimes people just say things and you really don't know. Few years ago, few years later or, you know, ahead, you just see all those things happening. And then you start to imagine how how did he even know this was going to happen okay now i don't know if he's still alive and all that if he were to be alive and he sees or listen to what he said six you know years ago he'll be amazed like okay like i saw this coming this yeah, for some people now. could be like you know they they see it you know they're not like a prophet they just see what's starting to happen and they already think about what could be the consequences of these things happening and he was already like his mind is traveling far far ahead okay what happens if this continues okay well then what's how it's going to affect this okay if this is going to affect this this way then this is going to happen and it's going to you know he's already like his mind is racing way ahead already seeing all the kind of outcomes of what this can lead to putting himself in the mind of someone that you know if, if i would like to stir trouble how would i do it 
this is how I would do it. Putting like different races against each other, families against each other, you know, different religions. It's kind of accurate to, in my opinion, to what's happening right now. So accurate. It's like you saw it happening already. Tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves, until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media. What do you have today? Flame. Media, exactly, fanning the flame and pushing like Crazy. different narratives. If you think about um, media, even like during Second World War, Nazis like Hitler was using media to, you know, spread propaganda and feed people like this, these lies. I guess he saw where the things are kind of starting and where they can end up. Yeah. And this is what he... And it just takes one person to kind of see that. If You could imagine if like everyone could see what he saw at that time. I, I wonder how it would have been. But he alone kind of saw, saw this going to happen in a way. But nobody would actually listen to it to this when it came out. When yeah, probably, you know, you would have people say, are you crazy? Like, yeah. you're, you're crazy <laughs> in a way. And it's always coming back to the book 1984, The Big Brother. I think it's all of that is realizing before our eyes right now. Promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing mm, fanning media the flames. fanning the flame. You know, just like trying to if make it more. If I were the devil, I would encourage more. schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run more. wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And it Yeah, that, I think that's kind of, uh, just listening about it, I remember something like about America, like happen something of that kind happening in America where they like in the schools or whatever, they, um, you know, didn't want anyone to mention like, Christianity or God, you know, because we have to be aware of other religions. So we don't, you know, I think I remember something like that. So, it, you know, those words kind of make me think about that. This must be a very intelligent man for him to see way, way years ahead. Like it, it's totally crazy, totally crazy. I just can't. I can't. Schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and DFI science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing DFI science. You know what I'm like? This is what's happening, you know, like all those clips right now. What is a woman? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I like could... trying to defy the science of it and of a gender. You know what I mean? This, these kind of words remind me of this issue that's happening today. Even though I'm biological male, I'm actually a, a female and I can have, you know, I can be this gender or that gender. It's kind of, this is like those words, this is what make it makes me think about. And you, you right. don't have two genders anymore. You, how many genders do you have? This is crazy. I just can't imagine. This is just so, I, 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 am, I am shocked. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. Mm. If I were yeah. the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. I don't know, like, if, if it's something that he saw or he was literally thinking how stir up things as, you know, if he would be a devil, but it's so accurate, a lot of this stuff so accurate yeah you know he mentioned priests misusing yeah little children, boys and like girls all this stuff, like this stuff was like a big controversy happening like some years ago and it's just crazy again talking about like family you know that marriage is old-fashioned old-fashioned you know, trying to like you know break families wow it's crazy because <laughs> this is happening today 
it's it, it's really and it's starting to like you know the train is already like picking up speed in my heart i'm kind of thinking like the devil wouldn't have brought all these things but because this intelligent man has seen it ahead and he has spoken because sometimes when you think whatever you think in your heart no one knows what is in your heart even the devil doesn't know what is in your heart until you kind of speak it out i feel like he voiced it out and kind of said it and the devil was like oh wow he's an intelligent man and somehow everything that's what i'm just thinking like everything he's saying is happening and has happened and it, it, it's just mind-blowing it's like watching a movie played already years ago and it's happening live i, I just don't know how to explain it <laughs> with the right up here i just want to see what is here <laughs> swinging is it's more crazy fun that what you see on tv is the way to be what and thus i could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. Wow. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. What a way to end. I'd like to know what kind of, where it came from or how it came to be. Is it something from his book or a show or something? Like, I, I, I'm quite interested, like, how it came about. You know, did someone ask him a question? Like, what would you do if you were a devil? Or it's something just he was thinking about and found interesting. But to me, it seems like a person that would see beginnings of something a little. That's what I was saying, like, you know, I think you have to draw a line on certain topics in today's times. Because if you allow those things to kind of, you know, move a little bit forward, move a little bit forward, you'll come to a point where actually it doesn't matter anymore. You know, with the topic, for example, of you know, gender, male, woman, okay, I, I can be a man, I can be a woman. Okay, so does it mean you can also be, um, you know, change your nationality? Am I an alien now? You know, like, the, if you start giving like a little bit, then there's, you know, another thing that's a little bit more controversial, a bit more out there. But now you can push that because the previous one is already accepted. Well, there's our other gender, so maybe you can choose your race as well. That's why I think you have to draw a line in the sand. And I think maybe he saw like beginnings during his time of something of this kind happening. I'm just thinking, like you said, was it he was it was he answering questions? Or was he an, in an interview? Was he writing a book? Why? What what prompted him into recording this audio? Maybe were there, were there things already, maybe, like you said, maybe some, he had some things happening around then that he had already seen. The title is kind of very scared, If I Were the Devil. Mm -hmm. It's like, if I were the devil, this is what and what and what and what I would do. So that what happens? Because to destroy the world, if I were the devil, because you know, nothing from the devil comes, you know, whatever you get from the devil is bad. So if you were the devil, these are all the things you do to destroy the world because obviously everything he listed here are just no good for man and it's happening causing confusion fights between families you know churches religions you know every is is just too accurate and um is scary at the same time that was really really good makes you think and you know reflect on what's happening today and what you believe in or what you think and also it will also make you think about words people have said before that you don't know maybe in years to come what you have said will you know just manifest so you don't take words lightly that was crazy i must say yeah. well guys thank you all for checking out this with us and we'll see you all in the next video from us it's by see ya god bless